In this video, I'm going to show you what's new in Reaper 7. So another feature that's been added to Reaper 7 is keyboard overrides. If we go up here to the actions menu, show action list, in here, we can see all the actions that can be triggered in Reaper. And as always, there's a whole bunch. And over here, we can see the keyboard shortcuts that are assigned to trigger those actions. And obviously, we could change these. But now, besides the main section up here, we also have 16 alternate sections, which we could use for different workflows using different keyboard shortcuts in each. Let me show you an example. By default, then Reaper, if we type the S key, it's going to split our items. Or if we go up here and type the M key, it's going to create markers. We could change those keyboard shortcuts for different workflows using the alternate sections. So let's go up here to alternate one. Now I should mention by default, Reaper uses the default keyboard shortcuts for each one of these sections. If you want to start off completely fresh, we go down here to the key map and remove all shortcuts from this section, or reset them to the default. Or my personal favorite, if you've changed a bunch of them in the main section, we can copy them right here. Copy main section shortcuts to current section. And that'll copy all the keyboard shortcuts you changed in the main section to the alternate section except for the escape key, which is going to clear any override, putting us back to the main section. But let's change the S key in the alternate one section. Let's go to the filter and type in solo selected. And right over here is an action to toggle solo for selected tracks. Let's assign the S key to this. Hit OK. It's going to replace the previous keyboard shortcut and assign it to this, but just for Alt-1. Let's do the same thing for Mute Selected Tracks. But for this, we'll assign the M key. Again, it's going to replace Creating Markers, but just for Alt-1. And let's go to the Alternate 2 section and change it again, this time for soloing an item. We'll toggle solo our items right here with the S key. Again, replacing the previous assignment and the same thing for muting an item. We'll assign this to the M key just for alternate two. So now let's go back to the main section, go to the filter and type in Alt Toggle. And right over here are the actions where we could switch which section we're using. Let's assign a keyboard shortcut to Alt-1. I'll use Control-1, Alt-2, and I'll use Control-2. And to get back to the main section, once again, we could just use the Escape key. So now, if we type in Control-1 and select our tracks, hit the S key, it's going to solo those tracks. Hit the S key again, it unsolos them, hit the M key, and it mutes them. Hit it again to unmute those tracks. And to go back to the main section, just hit the escape key. And now we can split our items with the S key, or create markers with the M key. Now let's switch it to alternate two. And now I can select an item, hit the S key, it solos that item. Hit it again to unsolo it. We could choose multiple items and solo them or unsolo them. We could select an item and hit the M key to mute it or unmute it. Select multiple items to mute them or unmute them. Hit the escape key to go back to the main section. So the S key is now splitting our items. And the M key is creating markers. So in this way, 
we could have multiple workflows using different keyboard shortcuts in each. And if you want to make it easier to see which Alt section we're in, we could use our toolbar buttons. We could right click up here, customize toolbar, go down here to add, and add these actions we added keyboard shortcuts to. For Alt 1 and Alt 2, select and close, put it down here, and change the icons to a text icon using Alt 1 and Alt 2. So now we can see those two bar buttons up here. We could hit it to switch to that section, and we could select our tracks, hit the S key to sew it or unsew it, mute it or unmute it with the M key, switch to Alt 2, select an item, hit the S key to sew it or mute it, or do it with multiple ones. Deselect it to go back to the main section where we could split our items with the S key or create markers with the M key. And we could see what's going on right here. And we could switch them right here or we'll deselect them or we'll use the keyboard shortcut, but still see which keyboard override section we're using. Go to the second one with that keyboard shortcut, hit escape to clear it, hit it again to switch to Alt 1. So you always know what mode we're in. Although you can always hit escape, then hit the keyboard shortcut for the section you want to go to. So again, by using the keyboard overrides, we can create different workflows with different keyboard shortcuts in each. So that's pretty much it. That's what's new in Reaper 7. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.